So one of the guys that came and bid on my logs noticed that I had a Massey Ferguson 550 combine sitting there and he says, oh, how do you like it? I says, oh, I better like it. I got a bunch of money wrapped up into it. And he says, well, you know, Carl up over the hill, I won't say his last name, he says, he's got two of them 550s up there and he's having a sale this Friday. I said, really? He said, yeah, he's completely selling out everything. He says he's got uh, two 550s, one's a, a parts 550 and the other one is a, um, you know, it actually is a combine that runs. I said, so he's probably got at least a few heads up there. He says, yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff. So I'm on my way up there to look at that. I'm going to yeah, take you along for the ride. Why not? Um, but uh, I'll also give you a little weather update here. I know a lot of you guys are from the south and you know, here it is March 11th. I mean, last year we did not have snow on the ground as evidenced by the fact that soil tests were already in. Um, and so this is what we're dealing with. I'm driving through a neighborhood right now. Um, yeah, loads of fun, second week of March. The difference is though, I will say, is that the roads are clear, so I really can't complain from that level. And truthfully, complaining doesn't work anyways. It does it's never, changed a thing for me just like worrying it's never changed a thing so anyways when I get there uh, I'll show you what's up okay we've made it but uh, I'm not getting out of the car because it's uh, knee-deep snow and I'm not gonna traipse around in it but apparently he's selling all that hay in that barn uh, he's got a couple sprayers up there one's uh, 25 gallon looks like maybe something you'd throw on the back of an ATV. One's a 60 gallon three point, which I suppose for smaller fields it would be okay. And then there is the uh, there's the the 550 combine right there. That I'm, I'm assuming that's the runner. I don't know where the parts one is. Um, and then here's the heads. Now that one head there is a real head that would not work on my. My combine, my mine is hydraulic. Um, and then I don't know if that that's a six row over there. I could run that. I could use that. I have a currently I only have a four row. Um, but again, that's the real. That other corn head there is a 44, 1144. Unfortunately, I think that's set up for 38 inch rows. And then, but this here has my interest. Um, that this is a, a 9013, so it's going to be a hydraulic um, <clears throat> setup with, you know, it's a 13 footer. Now I have a 15 footer already, but man, if I could get this little thing for the right price, I would certainly take it. I could drive the combine right up here, pick that thing up, and go. Now some of the custom harvesting you do, these guys have smaller fields, smaller operation. Uh, and sometimes you have to go through the woods or you know through a logging trail to get to their fields and boy a small head like that that would certainly help matters out um, he does have a couple of gravity wagons up there too I can see um, yeah oh he's got the J&M sorry for all the poor camera work but Oh, he's got a four-row John Deere corn planter. I wonder if it's no-till. That one gravity wagon looks really nice. The other two are kind of, eh, something to throw grain in, but, uh, huh. I think Jake Ziegler was just, he had a, um, he went to a sale and they were, him and Jeff Raymond were talking about how those go for a pretty good price. I'll bet he gets at least five grand for that four-row John Deere right there. Uh, as ridiculous as it sounds, there's really nothing to them. But you know, it's green and it has the John Deere label on it, so that's what you really are paying for, essentially. And they do make good implements; they really do. And I love John Deere older tractors, not their new stuff. Of course, all new stuff is made out of plastic and computers. Count me out. But uh, well, that's it right there, and. Uh, I can tell you one thing, I'll be up here Friday, and so will you guys. Anybody that wants to watch a video will be right here with me.
who knows, maybe I'll go live. All right, well, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. If uh, you're interested in any of this stuff and you're local, um, get a hold of me. I know World's Okayest Farmer is uh, semi-local. It's funny, it's a small world. Um, I'll tell you a story real quick. I, um, hang on a minute, let me adjust this camera. All right. He gets a hold of me today, <laughs> and he goes, are you from Northwest PA? I'm like, yep. He says, oh, okay. He says, well, I plant fields down in such and such an area. I says, oh, all right. It's about 30 miles. I'm about 30 miles north of there. And he says, well, I think I, think I bought a gravity wagon off you last year. And I'm like, because I buy and sell, buy and sell, you know. And he made a video of it. So I went to his video page and it's funny I remember him because he showed up in this mossy oak um, hoodie and I'm thinking this guy archery hunts I mean part of my job is habitat management deer quality deer management etc so I'm sitting there trying to have a conversation or at least strike one up about deer hunting and this and that and he's trying to get information about the gravity wagon <laughs> and I'm like deer hunting he's like gravity wagon deer hunting gravity wagon he wasn't making any ground with me I wasn't making any ground with him, but anyways, I sold him the wagon. I uh, hope he's happy with it, but uh, I know I was when I owned it. Took the uh, auger system off it and uh, commented. But anyways, I'm I'm rambling. I digress. So I'll be here Friday, March 16th, and uh, a video will be made. Hopefully there's no shield bidders that show up that just sit there trying to raise the price up. I typically don't like auctions because I don't trust auctioneers. Um, I think they're good ones out there I think there are bad ones out there you know you're you're, you're bidding sometimes against the auctioneer and it's just a, a crock of shit so anyways uh, thanks for viewing have a much better than average day and uh, I'm gonna be dealing with this crappy weather for at least uh, about a week five days the forecast isn't real great until about Friday which is when the sale is so El Perfecto Mundo Take care, guys and girls.